Did all of you know that there is no rule in D&D that says you can't have more than one bard? Technically, if you want to, you can have five bards, six bards, seven bards. You could have an entire party full of bards. But you never should. Ever. And I'm about to show you why. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. Check us out on OldSchoolNerd.com. Check out my Patreon. It helps support the channel. Check us out on Twitch.tv slash OldSchoolNerd. Eventually I'll be back. Today is Friday, which is YouTube Creator Content Friday. Now I've already left, so if anybody puts something out on Friday, I'm not here to do it because you know, I'm coming back from Dallas because I saw Bloodywood last night. And even though I'm recording this like days in advance, I'm letting you know it was freaking awesome. Yeah. If I'm wrong, I'll let you know. All right, here we go. So uh, <laughs> the name of this one is called When Two Bards Meet. Well, that's a recipe for a disaster, I can tell you right now. Most of us, when we start a D&D campaign with our friends, our friends are like, hey, we got a bard in the party. Damn it. Now, don't get me wrong. Bardic, bardic inspiration and all the amazing buffs and things that make a party this much better can sometimes mean the difference between victory and absolute defeat. And we owe that to bards. Now, the, when it comes to getting in and out of social situations and uh, thieving situations, sometimes you can't rely on just a rogue to stabby, stabby their way out of it. You gotta have somebody that can sing, lie, seduce. I know, I know. And this comes back to our amazing friend, Antrius. Yes, Antrius, the amazing bard who sang about bardic inspiration, who has led, don't tell Evandra and Nixie that I said he leads the party, but he has led them to great adventures and in many times has saved them from the clutches of death due to his amazing charisma, style, and technique. What happens if he's not the only one? Here we go. Oh, I'm going to have all of Deerstalker's information below. Uh, please check out Forgeling, who is Antrius on uh, social media. Uh, Eva DeVore on social media. She plays Evandra. And Nixie Fall Cosplay on social media. Check her out. You'll actually, if you look closely, you'll see Nixie in her alter ego. You know, Superman had Clark Kent, Wonder Woman has Diana, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Tony Stark, Iron Man, even though technically that's just the same shit. Thor has Thor with short hair. No, they all have all, you know, they're in disguise, incognito, alter ego. You, If you look closely, you may actually see Nixie's alter ego, her non-superhero persona. Look closely. See if you catch it. All right, guys, let's get this going. <laughs> oh, my. Is that a maiden in trouble? Oh, great. A bot. Anything but a bot, please. Don't worry. I'll save the day. <laughs> Oh, great. Two bars. Doubly useless. 100% true. Holy crap. Doubly useless. It's like she knows. It's like this damsel in trouble knows something about bards. It's almost like this person knows a bard on a regular basis. Hmm. Have you seen it yet? Okay. Imagine there's no pink skin, no fangs, and no fire. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, you got it. Congratulations, look at you. A plus. Yo! Oh, what wow, is this, man. a man of culture? <laughs> it's so rare to meet someone with sophistication in these parts. <laughs> Let's say we assist this damn cell together. Or we could inspire each other first. <gasps> Seriously, uh, lads? You need to get a hut or something? Just, you, no, go ahead. I mean, yeah. I mean, do your thing. 
Does anybody else feel like um, I would hope that maybe something amazing could happen between them? Maybe love will conquer all. But then you remember, mm, divas never work out when they're next to another diva. Destiny's Child, the Supremes. Hey, honey, what other diva groups break up because they're divas? All of them. That's what she told me. And Chelsea knows. A duet. Let's do it. I could use a little help fingering my woodwind. Ooh. My lute could use a little fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go high, you go low. I always go low. Ah, oh, great. Music. Anything but music. Great. Now, whichever one of you two is leading, if you could please just step forward and just help me out here, that'd be great. Oh, wait. What? No. I'm the front man. I have the nicer hair. Uh, no, 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 no. You're the backup vocals. And, uh, please, have you ever heard of product? I mean, Ooh. try using some, right? <laughs> oh, vicious mockery. Real mature. Well, not as mature as you. I thought you might like one last performance before you break a hip. It's called experience. And if you were to grow up a little and stop acting like such a little brat, maybe you'd get some. You call that experience? An up and coming young bard had to teach you on the moon. You'd know all about up and coming. Prematurely. Well, at least I still can, Contrius. <laughs> I am breaking up with the band. I think I'll do much better going solo. Performing solo is the I lost count. Contest. How many sexual innuendos are listed in this three minute and eight second video? Please comment below. I'll go back and count them and see if you can listen and check more than I did because they are rapid fire. I mean, if my daughter was here, she'd be like, queen. But I don't know what that means because I'm old. Divas, man. Divas. <laughs> They're so good. I love these guys. It's great. No, it's awesome. I love it. Um, but the up and coming bard, yeah, that was funny. And then he said, that's, yeah, up and coming. And then at least I can, you do that prematurely. See, they're all there. And it started from the moment they walked up. You ever get the feeling that they've never really stopped rolling for seduce? They just keep going, no, I got this again. Again. See, it never ends. There's a lot of tension there. A lot. It's the best you're gonna get with a face like that. Ooh, yeah! Huh? <sighs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Wait. The basket of. Did she hit him with a flower ball? Sorry, couldn't help myself on that one. I'll just save myself. Useless bards. Right? What say we assist this damn cell together? Or we could inspire each other first. Oh, yes, all right. Ooh, <laughs> 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 Okay, I, I'm not, by the way, um, this is uh, the one from before and, and that's all well and good. Um, anyway, holy crap. <laughs> it's kind of funny if you see Kendall. This is another video from uh, Deer Soccer Pictures when they're doing the, the one for all. Yeah, uh, check that one out too. I'll, you know, this is all good. Okay, so, um, okay, so here we go. I'll just kind of put this together with me, okay? No horns. No pink skin. No fangs. 
Now you get it. All right, cool, guys. All right. Again, another epic one from One for All. And this one was awesome. I think it's awesome to see uh, Antrius, played by Forgeling, um, really matched his meat. Met his, ma met his match. You're right. You're right. Sorry. All right. Sandra Bullock reference there. Okay, guys. Remember, how many subtle innuendos were traded back and forth? Put it in the comments. I want to see if you guys are even close to the number that I got. I don't even know if there's going to be a prize. I think the prize is for all of us to see these amazing actors go way the hell over the top. Love one another. Take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. And yes, no matter what we do, sometimes we still have to play with bards. Oh. Um.